Hey everybody, Jeff aka G Chris here. Welcome to a special dual deliveries video. This is recorded on October 3rd, 2024. The time is currently 6.29 p.m. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope that your day, you know, went went positive and that, you know, like you you know, everything's good, I guess you could say. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, you can tell I'm right off the rails, right out of the gate. Yeah. Anyway, as always, if you like what you're watching, feel free to click that subscribe button and you'll be alerted when I release new content, uh, especially if you're a fan of Transformers because I try to uh, do these kind of videos whenever I get a chance. But anyway, so this video is going to be covering some packages I've uh, received over the last few uh, last two about last two weeks basically uh one group of packages is from walmart and the other is from amazon i'm going to start with walmart and then we will zigzag over to the amazon so let's get to it shall we okay so uh just so everybody knows i already did uh some youtube shorts about these uh packages that arrived recently so if you would actually like to see those shorts, uh, the first package you can find up here in the corner right here, and it will be about the uh, figure that I'm about to cover right now. So let's get to that, shall we? So let's do this, let's do that. Okay, so basically uh, this package, this was one of two packages that came in from Walmart a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, I was under the weather. I had something just hit me midweek, and it knocked me on my ass for a couple days. Well, I uh, was laying in bed, and I was just, like, so fucking under the weather. I could not get to sleep because I require a CPAP mask to help me sleep. Well, the one problem is that when your nose is con you're severely congested, you cannot use your CPAP. So basically, I spent the first couple uh, days of being under the weather, not really being able to sleep at all, which was which really made the days just really horrendous. I, I was just so fucking under the weather. I was just totally just miserable. If you can imagine like what miserable felt like, if you could put that into like a physical form, that's how I felt. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was laying in bed, just wishing I could go to sleep. Just wishing I could go to sleep. I just wanted to go to sleep. And I couldn't because every time I start to drift off, I would start gasping because I need a CPAP. So I was, and then I was having a, you know, like, I, it, was just, it was just a bad, bad time. Anyway, I was laying in bed watching some YouTube videos, just, you know, wanting the shit to end. When all of a sudden I just heard... Like, on the walkway behind me, I live on the second floor of an apartment. I, uh, just, on the walkway, I just started hearing, like, thumping, like, like, somebody running. And I, I open my eyes, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I'm like, I, I did not want to be hearing this. I just wanted quietness. My head was pounding and all that. Like, I just want quietness. So I got up, and I... Stumbled to the uh, front door. I opened the front door up and I was literally to the point I was about to start screaming I'm like hey assholes people are sick and trying to rest I yanked the door open. I looked out to look to the left. Oh, sorry left Nobody was there look to the right. Nobody was there However, when I looked to the right I heard a car door shut and then like a van left I'm like all oh, those lucky motherfuckers. They got out of here before I could start chewing them out, you know well, I was just about to shut the door when I looked down and there were a couple boxes pressed right against the door. So I didn't even know that they were there. I wouldn't have known that they were there until, unless I looked down. And what it was, was it was this company that uh, Walmart has been using. I'm not sure if it's just that they're contracted in this area, but there is a company called, like it's like I think it's called OnTrack or something like that. And... They they've been delivering these packages over the last this last summer that I've ordered, and I should have realized from that thumping that it, that it was them. But I was just so fucking under the weather, so I brought the two packages in, and those are what I'm going to show now. I wanted to I meant to do a, a deliveries video when I felt better, 
but I did not. I, I just forgot. I did a couple quick shorts videos. Those are a lot easier to produce than something like this, basically. Uh, you know, I could just record, and then I could add a little bit of music when I'm feeling up to it. That's what I did. So, like I said, if you are wanting to see this figure that I'm about to show now in the shorts video, I'm, it's going to be up here in the corner. Well, it's going to be further in the corner, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, so what I have here, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, it is the oh god Star Raider collection. This is the deluxe class Road Pig, and this guy, if I remember correctly, I think he is a he's a recolor, slight re remold with a different head of uh, of a you of a Transformers uh, Legacy Evolution character. I can't recall what his name is, but. You know, he's a, basically a remold, uh, a recolor of one of those figures, if I remember correctly. But Road Pig is a G2 character, if I remember correctly. And I love G2. I actually have quite a large amount of G2 figures already that has been released recently. The two G2, well, actually, there's three G2 figures I really, really love. We'll make it four. Oh, God, it keeps growing. Well, number one, I have the Toxitron jazz figure and i freaking love him up next after that i have the generation selects g2 megatron which is totally awesome i then have oh god it's like a neon colored uh, generation selects ramjet if i remember correctly i think it's ramjet but he's like purple and black and i think blue i freaking love him and also, I got Cloud Cover from Toxitron also. So, th th those figures are fucking awesome. So, but anyway. Got another G2 figure. I'm not going to complain. I love G2. Anyway, on the front of the box, we have Transformers, Legacy United, Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy, Hasbro. Uh, if your kid is under eight years old, do not let him play with this. And then he is uh, Star Raider, Road Pig. On this side, you have the, com the the common 40th anniversary artwork that has been out f for this entire product line. On this side, you have Road Pig zoomed in profile, Road Pig zoomed out profile. On the top, Transformers Legacy United. On the back, 15 steps of conversion from primary to alt mode. And that is about it overall. I am very pleased to have this guy. Yes, I know he's just a repaint, slight remold with a different head. But it's the thought that this guy represents uh, G2. I love G2. Here, let me get this guy closer. Let me get there. It goes. I love G2. Uh, I wish that they, I, for, you know, I don't mind, I would not mind if it was just like one whole product, the span of, of a product, so say like one year. I would love to just have a, a dedicated line of G2 figures. But that's just me. Not everybody likes G2, but I do. But that is it for what came... That Well, this is just one of the two items that came from uh, from Walmart. Okay, up next we have uh, another second uh, part of that delivery that came from uh, Walmart. And this is actually a little bit uh, bigger, so I cannot wait to show you guys. This is a multi-pack of the Star Raider uh, Walmart collection. This is actually a three-pack. It comes with one Voyager, one... Uh, well, why did I do two? It makes it sound like there's two. But anyway, one Voyager, one Deluxe, and one... And I almost did two again. And one Core Class. Uh, basically, this is... Uh, we have... Cal uh, oh, what can we call it? We have Thundertron here. Calcitron here. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh, up here we have Night Strike. Night Strike is a little cassette minion type uh, character. So let's get on with it, shall we? So we have uh, Transformers Legacy United, Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy. I know the glare. I apologize. Hasbro. Oh, oh Hasbro's over here. They moved it. Motherfuckers, maybe go over here. But anyway, Hasbro's right here. Once again, if your kid's not eight years old, what are you doing? Uh, we have Star Raider. Are they all? Yeah, they're all still. Wait, no, wait. We have Star Raider, Thundertron, 
Star Raider Night Strike. And for some reason, even though they're supposed to be, he's supposed, you know, Star Raiders, we got Infernac Universe Calcitron. I thought Calcitron was actually part of the Star Raiders. I don't know what the whole deal is, but that's what it says here. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm not the one that, why are you looking at me? I'm not the one that did the box. Ask Hasbro, ask uh, Walmart. Anyway. Same artwork. 40th anniversary. On this side, you have uh, the alt mode of Thundertron. And, oh, the, the primary mode of uh, Thundertron and the alt mode of Calcitron. On the top here, you have Legacy United with Night Strike in his uh, primary mode. He's like a bat it's basically a recolor of uh oh god i can't recall it's a recolor of one of sound waves uh little bats i can't recall what his name is right now on the back 24 steps conversion for uh thundertron from primary to alt mode 12 steps of uh conversion for calcitron from primary to alt mode and then a whopping this one's gonna this one's gonna kill everybody. I, I cannot understand how they did, you know, like they really wanted to kill us. But anyway, four steps from primary to alt mode for our boy Night Strike. And I'm not sure if they kept the picture. From what I heard, I think they changed the picture a little bit, but uh from I like this picture here. It has kind of like a Punisher vibe. I really like that. I really, really do. And that's about it. That's what uh came from uh, Walmart, we got Road Pig, and then we got three more guys to add to the Star Raiders. I actually, there's only one figure left I need to complete the Star Raider set, which is sadly one of the hardest figures to get. It is Filch, which is like a purplish colored uh, repaint, slight remold with a different head of uh, Kingdom Air Razor. So yeah, that, 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 that figure is actually, it, it's one of the harder figures to get that's part of this product line. But yeah, so, you know, am I getting tired of the armorizers, you know, or the rock lords? Yes, I am. I am. But I do have to admit, I like the coloring. The coloring of this guy is actually pretty damn nice. I, I'm going to have to compare this guy because I already have Thundertron that was released uh, earlier this year. It was either this year or late last year. But I got that figure. It's already, it's actually on the shelf, uh, back there with the other star raiders so i'm gonna have to get this guy out of the package do a comparison and i'll do that whenever i get the free time you know the time when i'm like on break from work or whatever you know what i'm trying to say anyway uh so yeah like i said if you like what you're watching and i, I think i did a, a shorts of this also you can find it in the corner if i if i did i can't recall i was sick anyway but that is it for what came from walmart Normally, when it comes to Transformers, I try not to uh, get too bummed about what uh, what there is that, you know, I buy because, you know, I'm spending my money. I saw, I try to get myself hyped for everything I buy because some of these figures, you know, sometimes it costs a lot of money. And then there's sometimes that they don't cost that much money. But this is one of those weird times that I will buy a figure and then after I bought that figure, I'll sit down and I'll look at the, the package. And I just feel a little bit underwhelmed. I'm not really feeling what it is that I bought. And this is actually, sadly, one of those times. It's rare, but it does happen. So let me grab it. I have here, ladies and gentlemen, the Studio Series 86 Core Class uh, Steel Jaw. This, is, this guy is from the Transformers of the Movie. He is one of the cassette he is one of the cassette minions for our boy Blaster. And I'm not sure why, but after I got this guy, I was just I was just like a little bit a little bit bummed. I'm not sure why. I'm hoping that it's just, you know, the box. it could be that maybe the box was damaged, but I'm not really a, a box type person. You know, I don't really care about the boxes. I'm not sure why that would get me all bummed. It's just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not sure why. But, so what do we have here? On the front, we have Transformers. Once again, eight years old, motherfucker. Why, if you, if your kid is not eight plus, they're not, they should not be playing with this. Hasbro, 
Steel Jaw, Studio Series, The Transformers, The Movie. On the top here, we have The Transformers, The Movie. Here we have Studio Series. We have uh, Steel Jaw in his primary mode. He is like a lion. On this side, profile, same picture up here. It's just against the black background. On this side here, profile zoomed in. Studio Series, he is a core class. A class A, uh, originally? A core class A. A class A nuclear? Nucleo? Oh, fuck it. And class A nucleo. I, I, I probably just like butchered like five languages right there. I apologize if I butchered your language. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, Studio Series. On the back here, six steps of conversion. He's actually a little bit more involved to convert than Night Strike. But anyway, six steps to convert from primary to alt mode. And then he also comes with a little uh like a little uh radio dish or whatever you want to call it I think that's what that's called i'm not sure i'm not sure sue me i don't know but yeah so that is you know one of the two items that came yesterday from uh from amazon and like i said if you want to see the here can i go oh uh, yeah there you go uh i don't know why anyway if you want to see the shorts of this figure it's going to be in the corner but yeah, so this is one of the two things that came in. Like I said, I'm just, I'm not sure what it is. I'm just not really feeling it. I'm not sure what is wrong, but I'm just not feeling it. Once I get this guy opened up, I'm hoping that it's going to be at my, my dad's, my dad's, what? my doubts will be cast aside. Maybe, maybe it's just the fact that, like I said, maybe for some reason, maybe it's just a little damage to the box, you know, and that's what's setting me off. But like I said, I don't really care about boxes, so. But that is it for this uh, figure. I will be right back with the next one. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the final package that arrived yesterday from Amazon. What I have next is a, is a figure that we have been waiting. I think it's been at least almost two years. We have been waiting patiently. Some could actually say we've been waiting lovingly for this figure. And, and, and my, my patience has finally paid off. And trust me, as a fan of Transformers, the one thing I am not is patient when it comes to knowing what is coming. I, I'm like, I'm like, a, I'm like a little child at Christmas. I'll be honest. When when I know something's coming, I want to have it right now. I want to have it right now. You know, I paid a little shit ton of money. I want the figure, but the thing is, we all need patience. We all need patience. That's actually something I try to teach my students all the time. Is we just gotta have patience for what we want. But anyway, enough of the talking. I have here, ladies and gentlemen, the Studio Series 86. Holy shit, this is a big boy. Hold on, let me see here. Uh, why is it that the cord on these webcams are always so heavy that I actually... There you go. We have the Studio Series... Back? There it goes. Oh, no, that one looks weird. Hold on, let me see. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. There we go. We have the studio. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Sue me. Anyway, we have the Studio Series 86 Commander Class Optimus Prime. And boy, this, this, th what you see here, this does not do justice. This is actually a pretty large box. I mean, like the last time I got a large box that contained one figure was one of the Dinobots. Uh, it was Swoop. This is a large box, but not only does it have a, one figure in it, it also has a fucking large trailer. But like I said, this is actually a large box. This, this, my camera doesn't do justice. Excuse me. It does not do justice. But anyway, I'm gushing too much. Let, let, let's let get on with it, shall we? Yes, I know. We're going to get on with it right now. We have Transformers Generations Studio Series 86. He is number 31, ladies and gentlemen. Optimus Prime, they made him number 31. He should have been number one. But they made him 31. So it makes you wonder who the 32 is. Maybe it could be that fabled Megatron that we've been hearing about. But anyway. Yeah, let's see. God, no matter what I do, it's still going to be kind of... I don't know. Oh, it's actually as low as it will go. Okay, well, anyway, we have here. The Transformers, the movie. Uh, Optimus Prime, eight years old, motherfucker. Hasbro. 
Takara Tomi. And then you have a picture here of Optimus Prime standing, you know, with the trailer opened up. And it shows all the goodies that you're going to get. You're going to get some blast effects. You're going to get the Energon axe that he had in Season 1. You're, he has the little repair, uh, repair droid. Uh, you have his Ion Blaster. The one thing that they don't show here is, uh, oh god, Roller. But Roller is supposed to be included in this. You have him in his alt mode here. On this side, you have Optimus Prime looking as regal as possible. He is one regal motherfucker. Does, does he not look regal? Yes, I know. I've been saying regal. I, 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 I don't know why I said regal. But he looks regal. Doesn't he look regal? I think he looks regal. Don't you? You better agree that he looks regal. But anyway, on this side, you have the zoomed in image. Goddamn glare. Studio Series 86, number 31, Optimus Prime, zoomed in. He is... Now get ready, I'm going to start butchering more languages, so get ready. He is a Commander Class. A Class A Commandant. A Commander Class A. A Class A Commandante. And a Class A Commander. Did I butcher those languages? Leave in the comment section. Let me know how many of those languages I just butchered. I think I butchered all five of them, but who knows? Maybe you guys are going to actually be nicer and say, no, Jeff, you only butchered like three of them. Yeah. But anyway, on the top here, the Transformers, the movie. Here you have Optimus Prime in that uh, in that iconic uh, scene where he's uh, defending Autobot City, where the, the jets lift him up into the air when he transforms. That's a fucking cool picture. I like that. I like that a lot. The Transformers, the movie. Now, here is the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the good stuff. Goddamn glare, no matter what. You have the him in his alt mode with the trailer attached. That trailer actually looks a hell of a lot better than what we got in, in Earthrise, doesn't it? That, ha that, that is an awesome-looking fucking trailer. You have Optimus Prime with his Ion Blaster and the Energon Axe. You have the repair drone attached to Roller. You have him in his little... uh. The trailer opened up and you see everything here. It kind of reminds me of the Borg alcove. If you ever watched uh, Star Trek, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then you have uh, the trailer laying down opened up. Let's see here. It says big screen inspired scale detail and backdrop. And then it says Battle of Autobot City. It comes with a little backdrop. I've, ne I've never used those things. The description reads, Optimus Prime joins the Autobot City defense to stop the Decepticons, no matter the cost. <laughs> Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. If only, if only, uh, where the fuck was this determination when, you know, in season one and two? You know, if, if Optimus Prime had this determination back then, Instead of him dribbling a goddamn basketball or playing with a basketball or whatever, maybe Megatron would have been fucking dead. But no, where where the fuck was his determination then? Yeah, you know, like, like, eh, eh, you know. But anyway, that is what came to, uh, yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. So we had, you know, we had a total of four packages, uh, all of them with the exception of Steel Jaw. I'm actually pretty excited for. But yeah, that is it. That is it. Let me put this off to the side. I'm going to put this right here so it can look so fucking awesome as he's next to my uh, stainless steel uh, bottle. Let's pull this out. But yeah, so let's do this. Let's do this. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, oh, wrong one. Hold on. There you go. That's the right one. That is the right one. If you like what you watch, which I hope you did, Feel free to click that subscribe button and you'll be alerted when I release new content. I'm going to bounce, get this ready to upload. Oh my god, it's already 7 o'clock almost. I will see you all next time uh, for the next deliveries video. My name is Jeff, aka Jake Curse, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.